it live. I'm going to be doing a little stuff here while I wait for people to filter into the stream. Mm -hmm. And for those watching later on YouTube, good morning or afternoon or whenever it is, wherever you are. Do, 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 do. Try and get a version of Unity open. I made a mistake this morning in uh, my normal working version of Unity, which meant a full reimport, uh, which for our project takes about oh, six to eight hours if we use the cache server, two to three days if we do not. Uh, yeah, for those who were on last night, uh, List is trying his uh, hand at streaming. Uh, he was a little, he said he was nervous and uh, that he didn't think it went that well, but I haven't heard anybody say anything, but good stuff. He'll get better at it. He had a lower stream viewer watch, but that was just because he did his late at night and stuff, doing his in the middle of the day when you guys are all at work and need something to do because you don't actually want to work. That goes double on a Friday. Who wants to work on a Friday? Sit in your chair and pass your time. Hold on, I'm going to spam to the Universe channel. Do -do -do. Just telling people I'm starting a live stream on chat. Do, 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 do. All right, we got some people falling in here now. I've never understood. It always says zero viewers for a long time, even though I have people in my chat, so I'm, I have no idea. It just has to have, like, some slow update or something. Uh, for those who are watching the stream, I think... Uh, hold on. Yeah, so I changed... We'll see if there's any outrage over this, but I changed... The top of the chart the uh, like who gave the most bits thing because I it was set to one week it would clear every week uh, which was okay and it pushes people on weekly but I wanted to sync it up with our releases so I switched it to once a month uh, but uh, anyway so that now puts for those watching at home that now puts snugs C, Black Bear, uh, Market, and Winfield is the top three. And drops Gravity, and there's a, a big drop-off between Winfield and Gravity. So you guys got to work a little harder if you want to get up there. Uh, and this is going to reset in nine days, so it resets at the end of the month. So it's not quite in sync with our release, but it's as close as we can get. So... And that's, people say that's how most are set up, so yeah. Uh, also, I bet it's probably shown on screen that uh, Catnip Games subscribed. That was actually me. That was my personal account uh, subscribing to test something out, so. You can ignore that one. Uh, thank you for Skeggy Media for hosting me. Uh, I'm gonna, I've actually got a list of things to talk about today. I'm kind of blocked on the stuff I really want to talk about. Uh, but you guys always come up with plenty of questions, so I will just go with that. Uh, let me get the specials off. So the specials I'm going to do today, I probably should uh, uh, make a little screen for it and throw it up there, is the same thing I did yesterday, because yesterday I only did it, I could only handle it for people who are using PayPal. Uh, but I've got it worked out now, so I can do it for everybody. Who is in the United States. Sorry. Sorry Europe guys and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there. Uh, but uh, yeah so the right now the shipping the few tests I've done is the shipping on sending overseas is still hideously bad no matter what version I use. And uh, thank you Glepo1 for following. And uh, that was the other thing I'm gonna try to encourage today is I've had people ask what they can do to help the game. 
Uh, and the number one thing you can help to do the game is spread the word, recruit your friends, tell your friends to come join, whatever you want to do. But uh, getting more people in game, that's our number one priority and that's also our number one challenge. Uh, because there's, uh, it's not a very Steam review friendly game. Because it's, I mean the Steam, if you look at the reviews on Steam, most of them are 0.2 minutes. Or 0.2 hours played, which means that they got in the game, they played for 10 minutes, they didn't even get to the character creation, said, meh, I'm done, uh, and quit out. And that is, uh, at first we thought that might just be people who had uh, low, you know, men-spec computers, but it actually, it doesn't seem to be the case. There's just a lot of people who apparently want to go play a game, and they'll spend time to install a 12 gigabyte game, uh, and then 10 minutes later, uh, quit before they even get to the character creation, so. Uh, put the game on Discord, Mike Soda says. That is actually something we're investigating as well. There's lots of stuff we're investigating on where we can spread, uh, spread the game. And yeah, Discord would be a great spot, because there's yeah, I mean, there's lots of reasons. Uh, another one, uh, someone mentioned the other day, and I didn't have the full details on it, but now I've got the full details on it, is the uh, Google Stadia is another thing we're going to investigate. For those who don't know what that is, that is Google announced a streaming platform where they have optimized uh, streaming. It's basically you can play games as a service, but it streams it actually to a web browser. Uh, or to their custom app, where all the app is, is basically it handles the input, sends the input uh, to the server, and sends the video stream to you, and they've got it uh, supposedly optimized well enough so anybody with a good connection can play the game without ever installing it. They just play it like you open a browser window to the game. Uh, that would be super awesome. There's lots of benefits to that, uh, and uh, I've seen specs for the machines that they're using to run it. Uh, and they're pretty awesome. The uh, One of the challenges is going to be, it seems their major push for the platform is to make it a console competitor rather than a you know a PC game alternative rather than a Steam alternative. So they're pushing a lot of console stuff. So I actually have applied for Stadia developer status. We'll see if it happens. Uh, let's see. But yeah, Discord's another one. Epic's another one. Uh, uh, good old games is another one, although we're a little different money model than what good old games wants, uh, and we're not that old. Uh, Rufus says, I thought you weren't going to stream on Fridays. Uh, so I actually, last week I mentioned at the star that, uh, I was going to get on and stream and warm up the crowd, like get on an hour early, and he was worried, a little worried it would confuse people who'd get on and think we weren't doing a stream. So that's why this time I did it, I'm doing it two hours before the stream. Well, four hours before the stream, and I'll end it two hours before the stream, and we'll come back on. Uh, oh yeah, how's Mojito doing back down there? It looks like he's, he's cozy. Uh, but yeah, so this time I am doing the stream on a Friday. And part of that is also, I think, Star's seeing that we're getting decent amount of traction. We're getting new subscribers every day. Uh, and that is, again, what we care about most. Uh, I do love it when you guys give me uh, bits and stuff like that, if I missed any. Oh, Snugs, patting his lead. Thank you, Snugs. Uh, but uh, most important for us is we want the stream to be something where we can use it to help bring new players into the game. Uh, and we've got a platform, just because we've got hundreds of people who will get on here and watch, uh, where we are actually one of the best people to promote things. And then also, the other part of it is, well, one, we're going to be hopefully get turned into Twitch partners and be able to do a little more promotion stuff. But the other part is uh, uh, we want to, at the end of every stream, I'll try to give you guys a warning. And if you guys are streamers and you go start up your stream playing Shroud, of course, uh, I don't care if you like Apex Legends right now because everybody in the universe is playing it, but... Uh, uh, but playing Shroud, uh, I'll uh, crash your party and send you a bunch of streamers, send you 80 or 90 or 100 uh, people raid to your channel, which is a great way to get people to follow you, uh, which of course is super important. Let's see. Uh, for those who haven't seen me stream before, uh, the small dog in the lower left-hand corner. Hey, Mojito, buddy. That guy. 
Uh, that is Mojito. He is the... Uh, you can actually find him an owl's head on the bridge. Uh, he is actually there partially because it's awesome having a dog with you. Uh, but also because I need something to cover up my chat so people can send me private messages and I get constantly get private tells, uh, as you might expect as a dev who gets online and listens to people and fixes stuff. Uh, so, let me get to my list. Uh, so last time if you watched, uh, now that I've got a fair number of viewers on here, last time if you watched I actually started shipping. So I did actually ship some boxes after uh, I went off the air. And let me just say, I think I'm getting better. Uh, but it is a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to improve some of the stuff, I think. Uh, so it looked like my total shipped. I shipped 11 boxes after the uh, after the show. Uh, a couple of more people that were sent to me, but some were just based on what boxes I had available because the boxes, I think I showed you guys a chart last time, the boxes come in like 20 different uh, types. Let's see, I think I've got that image here. Yeah, that thing. That thing right there. So that just gives you an example. I, that doesn't even have everything on there. That's just uh, an example of the different types of boxes for the different people. And so a lot of those I have to put together. So honestly, the ones I shipped last time uh, is... Uh, why is someone saying Felicia Day? Is Felicia Day in there? Uh, for those who don't know, the reason I ask... Uh, I saw the Felicia Day, yes, la 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 la. Uh, she actually was an early supporter of the game. Uh, obviously she has a million things going on, so I have no idea if she's actually played the game. Uh, but I uh, had the honor of uh, communicating with her uh, for a few uh, emails. Uh, but uh, anyways, that'd be great if Felicia Day were around here. She hasn't played yet, uh, that's probably true. Uh, but yeah. I know she's got. I know this will shock you guys, but she's got better things to do than, than play games. <laughs> oh yeah, well I haven't watched her new show. Actually, I have watched her new show. Uh, but anyway, so if you guys have any questions, make sure and get them out there. Oh, I see a few uh, appearing now. Uh, but again, I will urge you to follow the stream. Oh, and I keep cutting my or going on a tangent before I get to telling you guys about the stream special. So today I should be able to. Oh, Thank you, Snugs. Uh, I should. He's, uh, again, extending his lead. Guys, you're in the dust back there. Uh, again, uh, there's a stream special that I'm doing today that is going to be the same as the last time, which is if you buy, if you are in the U.S., sorry, Europe, love you guys, but it's expensive to ship to you guys. I'm working on a solution or an alternate plan for it. Uh, but if you are in the U.S., uh, and you buy an, a the $85 10,750 crown package during my stream I will go back there and pack you a, a package and ship them uh, I shipped all the packages from the previous stream yesterday and they probably many of them will arrive today or uh, tomorrow uh, a few of them might arrive today because uh, at least one was in Austin uh, but anyway, so if you buy the $85 crown package during my stream, I can see it now if you buy it on uh, Amazon or if you buy it with a credit card. So you don't, it doesn't have to be just PayPal. Uh, I still prefer PayPal because I'm going to have to email you and get you get an address from you. Uh, but uh, either one of those is, any of those is an option as long as you're in the U.S. If you buy two, then I will do a... Uh, extra special thing and throw in a, a t-shirt for you and ship and so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back there I've got like collectible items and coins and stuff like that that are extras uh, and just some random swag from over the year and I will ship it to you while you watch uh, in the background there man snugs now you're just rubbing it in on them <laughs> but thank you again snugs you're scaring off the competition though uh, they they want to get on the chart there. All they all they really have to do is knock off uh, Winfield. Uh, but uh, anyway, so yes, if you buy an eighty-five dollar package and in, you're in the U.S., doesn't matter how you buy it, whether it's credit or Amazon or PayPal, I will turn around and go pack you a coin and some other junk uh, and ship it off to you. If you are 
if you buy two, I will throw in a t-shirt. And I've got a bunch of uh, t-shirts that are just, some are from conventions. I've got a few launched party t-shirts. I think I'm down to a few sizes in those. Uh, and then I've got uh, uh, I've got a, like a team T-shirt that we have that was a uh, from Merits. We did a uh, half marathon. Oh no, we did a 5K uh, as a team. Uh, some of us were sick and did not go. Uh, but the team as a whole, I do have uh, some extra T-shirts. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'll throw in a T-shirt. I pulled out about 10. I think I've got about 50 total though. So. Uh, but uh, I'll have to come up with some other thing. If you buy three, you get something else. And of course, you get to keep the crowns. You don't have to send the crowns to me. But, okay, let me get to, let me first refresh and see if anybody's bought anything here yet. I'm marking the spot where the last guy was. Uh, and then I will jump into some questions. Do, 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 one second. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah, our database has like crazy number of uh, entries into it, so it takes a while to update. All right. There you go. I at least know where we're starting now. Uh, so let me get to some of these questions over there. Question, Earth Elemental Summons don't do root is there a specific reason to that uh, didn't they do root at some point Ooh. Uh, I might be able to go look and check yeah uh, they should have some root chance I thought they did a root that was supposed to be the cool thing on them uh, I don't think they were supposed to stun I think they were just supposed to be a little little beefy and uh, root so let me go check that and before I do that for those who don't know I keep a uh, document that I make notes on here and yes horrible streaming etiquette uh, but uh, it's good to get things fixed is keeping my document updated so when you guys tell me stuff I actually remember to act on it uh, I turned about uh, I've got of course I'm pointing at stuff you can't see this is like the kid on the phone thing uh, but I'm uh, I've turned a bunch of these tasks into or items into actual tasks for people already not all of them uh, but many of them already have been turned over. Uh, so this is Earth Elemental Root question mark. And yeah, that would be that. Uh, again, I didn't set up any of the pets. That's uh, one of the things I didn't touch, and I've just come along afterwards and stuck my hand in and messed around with it uh, to try and get balance to be a little bit better. Uh, but that is, I would expect an Earth Elemental to root. Uh, right now, uh, there is absolutely zero question that the water elemental is the best one. I'm trying to get the, rather than weaken the water elemental, I'm trying to bring the other ones up to be as useful as the water elementals. So I will check into that because that would make the earth elemental actually useful. Uh, he could then uh, be like with the spiders and stuff like that. Uh, Snug says better taming, better reviews. Uh, Snugs, I'm going to look into some taming stuff for this release, but uh, it'll be minimal. But uh, I am looking into it. I've got a couple of different people who harass me about about uh, taming. On Facebook, on emails, and forums, on Discord. Anyways. Uh, let's see. Can also live streaming on Steam as a dev, so it'll show up on the main page uh, on there. Uh, that'd be great if I could actually get some dev content on there. I'll look into that as well. Uh, I'm kind of bitter towards Steam. It's those are the two things I kind of am bitter towards: is Unity, no secret, uh, and Steam. Steam streaming, investigate. Uh, that was the other thing is uh, we didn't even have our Steam account set up to be affiliates or whatever the first level is for Steam, uh, let alone partners, which, again, all these things give you bonuses. And I see these other guys in the streams, and they have so many more cool stuff. Uh, and thank you, Taiki Vetra, Vetre, 
uh, for the sub, and again, Snugs. Uh, it's been more than 30 seconds since I said your name, so again, thank you, Snugs. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we didn't even have our Twitch set up to be a real account until I set it up a week before last. Uh, so now we're on our way to a partner. And in fact, actually this, and there's Snugs. I have said his name within 30 seconds, but I'm saying it again. Thank you again, Snugs. Uh, but I have it set up. We should actually, with this stream right here, the one you're in, uh, this should get us to the point where we can officially apply for partner uh, and should be accepted. We're well over 100 average uh, users and per stream watching. Looks like we're at 92 right now. I'm sure that will continue to climb a little bit. But uh, then also the 25 hours and 12 different days. We got it all. Check, check, check. Partners! I don't know what that does. I think we get some emotes and some other stuff. Uh, I made some some icons. I got to figure out how to get them in here. I made uh, there's a star icon here. Hold on, let me see if I can go find the star icon. Uh, this is actually one I made. A, I turned it into an icon, but uh, it's actually stuff that uh, Travis made. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on, I'm gonna again be the bad streamer. Yeah, there we go. So that's, oh, that'll be one icon. Oh, thank you again, Snig. Ah! Oh, Control Z doesn't work. Put my screen back. I'm not sure why I thought it would. There we go. Why is my uh, client not locked? Let me lock it. There we go. Uh, so yeah, so there's a. Uh, that's one of the icons. Uh, DJ Darkstar. DJ Darkstar. Uh, also, I think he's they're doing the next dance party for those who want to catch up on DJ Darkstar. I think it's scheduled for a Saturday for a change, uh, rather than being on a Monday or a Friday. So uh, you can check that out next time he's on. And then here's the other one that I made. Uh, that this is for me, if I can find it. Where is it? Is that not showing up? Why is that showing up? Oh, I think it is showing up. What am I? Hold on. <laughs> Why is that not showing up? I can't see it. It only covers the entire screen. Uh, so this will be my... Uh, icon. I've got a, there's a scaled down version, but uh, that's uh, going to be my icon that I'll have up there. And uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out all the Switch stuff still. Uh, again, I'll do some more stream this weekend and try to turn on the prizening live on here. We, we are doing prizening uh, at the four o'clock stream today, uh, but that will be the old school system. I'm trying to get a different one on there. And I, uh, Snugs, I think I missed one of your 100 bits. Oh no, I think I did get that one. I take that back. Ignore Snugs. Uh, I Strider, thank you. Holy cow. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think you almost jumped into, you're almost knocking uh, Winfield off. Uh, that's good. You need to knock him off for the Friday stream tonight because that's usually when we get like 300 people or something watching. So you can get your name in the headlights or in the, the, the lights. Uh, but anyway, so there'll be a mojito icon. Uh, I'm trying to get icons created for everything. Uh, so uh, you can look forward to having the mojito icon. Uh, in the not-too-distant future. Bam. Off. All right, let me get back to questions. Do, do, do. Uh, let's see. Uh, I also, Rufus, I also envy Mojito's life. Uh, he sleeps very much all the time. Uh, he is the most loyal dog if I get up and leave the room, he will immediately get up and follow me. He just follows me wherever I go, and then he'll sit and watch what I do. Uh, so I guess I don't envy that part, because I have a pretty boring life here. Uh, but, 
Mojito is the most loyal dog when I sleep at night. He just curls up with me. The wife hates it because she wants him to be her dog. Maxine hates it because he wants or she wants him to be her dog as well. Uh, but uh, that is my dog. I didn't pick him, but he's my dog. Ah, uh, Mike Soda, I like your analogy. Steam is like MySpace. Discord is Facebook. That's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, Steam does a lot of stuff well. Don't I, I mean, I rag on them a bit, but it's mostly, you guys know why. It's, uh, it's a platform that is not friendly to games that are not easy to get into. Uh, because it's easy in, easy out, and man, might as well review bomb me on the way out. Uh, so... It is, and they also they do no, no moderation on their platform. That's um, in terms of their stuff. I mean, like, sure, if you post racist or something like that, they'll they'll uh, they'll do something about it. But okay, let me get ready. Yep. Legion of Myth, party of twenty three. I'm way behind there, uh, up to ninety seven. Uh, let's see. Let me scroll down, try and catch up on the questions, and then I'll get back to some of my things to talk about. And yeah, and, and Felicia Day did do the Kickstarter to the project. Uh, that's one of those uh, nice things of working with Richard is he knows people. I do not know people. But I have their emails. Because Richard CCs me on them to, so I can answer tech stuff for him. Uh, question. So the pot templates with the big docks port area are set to freshwater. Can this be changed? to salt water, please, to match the logistics of the large water area. Uh, that seems, I'm trying to think how much work that's going to be. I think the big thing is we'll have to change the, we'll have to create a duplicate of it, and then we'll have to do the pot swap stuff we always have to do. Uh, it's a bit of work, but I know a lot of people want to do saltwater fish because you get some cooler fish in the salt water. Uh, so I'll make put it down as a uh, wish list. And that is uh, water pots in the big port. Make salt water. Again, for those just joining the stream, uh, I suck at streaming, but I do it anyways uh, because I answer get to answer lots of your questions. Uh, Artemis Sacrifice, thank you very much. Oh, and I see Snugs put in uh, another thousand bits. Thank you very much. Uh, lots of names I recognize here. Uh, uh, Artemis is one of the guys I talk to a lot. He does a lot with uh, dungeons and helps out with a lot of that stuff. Uh, uh, also, I think last stream, well, I'm already off on a crazy tangent. Last stream, I mentioned something about there's a question that somebody asked uh, why does the BMC get their own artifact and my answer was completely honest in that they got their own artifact because they asked for their own artifact uh, and I said if you the reason you guys don't have an artifact is you haven't asked for them so it doesn't just go for anybody but that will go for if you're a big streamer guy uh, helping out doing lots of stream I will gladly do some stuff to help you out I just made a uh, special cloak for somebody uh, at the request and gave it a custom name that'll be in next release so they can use that as one of their incentives prizes for things uh, but if you're a, a larger guild you know even a medium-sized guild is just constructive uh, and you have something that you want to insert as fiction into the game gladly they're glad to do it if you're a pot owner uh, who has like cool uh, pot that uh, you can actually keep people in uh, I know there's some ghost towns out there, but there's a lot of uh, pots where people are really competitive in terms of trying to attract people. Uh, Ordinus Mortis is one of those. They got me here, but that's just because I kicked out the previous dev uh, who was in here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you want something, and again, they got something because they asked for something, I'm not guaranteeing it'll get in the next release, uh, but I'll definitely create a jeer for it and get it in when I have time. Uh, sometimes it's super easy, like the the streamer who requested something, it was, it was really just duplicating an object, no new art, uh, and then changing a name and adding like one little stat to it. Uh, oh, looks like somebody bought something there. And uh, yeah, so last time that's the, the challenge I have. Let me see if uh, this person got something. So those who uh, came in... 
let's see, came in late. Uh, I'm doing a stream special. I'm going to try to do these to get you guys both to watch and also to help raise a little money. Uh, but uh, if you buy an $85 uh, crown package during the show and you live in the U.S., I will send you a gift. If you buy two, I will send you a t-shirt and I'll stop and mail it right now. And this person, hold on, I'm going to have to do again bad stream stuff. I ask, what size t-shirt do you want? And I think I only have, I think I have small, medium, large, and extra large. And what type t-shirt you get depends on what size you want. Uh, you do do bad streaming, I know. Get your questions in now. Uh, let's see. Uh, and if you pay with a credit card or Amazon or something, I'll be able to see your thing, but I won't get an address for you. Hit to refresh on something. Yep, bad streaming. All right, and I just got another person, so I'll do you guys here in a few minutes. Uh, let me see if that one came in on. Uh... Nope. Why don't you guys use PayPal? I get the address right in my email box when you guys do that. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna send this guy a quick email. There we go, check. And I'm getting an address from the other person. Okay, let me get back to a few questions here. Oh, and uh, also a story completely unrelated to anything. For those guys, for anyone who's watched my stream over the last week, uh, well, let me take one step back. I, uh, for those who didn't know, we actually, as we continue to try to be uh, groundbreaking and do things differently, but hopefully better, one of the things we did since we have all of our employees that are with us at this point are people who have worked with us for years and years and years, and we all know and everybody trusts each other. Uh, we, when our lease came up this last time around, we looked, didn't find anything, everything we found that worked well, uh, wanted a long-term commitment, which we didn't want to do because we want to grow the team at some point in the future and we didn't want to be tied into something small or paying for someplace big. So we took the office and closed the office and everybody works from home. We took all the servers, we threw them in a data center uh, and we all just connect to that data center now uh, through VPN. So, uh, one, I think most people love it. There's a few people who want to get together more and more often just, you know, for more FaceTime. Uh, but I found out one of the dangers, if you watched my last four or five streams, I've been having like horrible sinus problems. I'm a little bit better today. Or actually, I'm much better today than I was yesterday. I was actually having to stop the stream and blow my nose and all that stuff. Uh, but I think I found the problem and it's a risk of working at home. For whatever reason, I don't know why, it's just what I've always done. I use, uh, there's something called Nasacort, uh, that's a nasal spray that's like for allergies and you can use it pretty much every day. And I kept that in my car and I would just use Nasacort once a day when I get in my car. Uh, I don't know why I started doing it in my car instead of in my bathroom when I go to bed or whatever. Uh, but anyways, that's what I did. And I haven't been driving much because we work from home. So because I work from home, I haven't been getting in my car and I haven't been using the sinus, the uh, allergy spray. Uh, I found this out yesterday because I had to take my daughter to a doctor's appointment and I got in the car and used it and then like by nighttime I was like, I feel great, what happened? Uh, sorry about the bump on the table there. Uh, but anyways, that was, uh, uh, I discovered that's a risk of working at home because I gotta change up some of my old habits. 
and uh, use nasal cord. But anyways, I feel better today. I'll still blow my nose a few times, but much better. Let's see. Hold on, I'm going to go ship a package here. I got a request for an XL t-shirt. Let me go do one here. Oh, and uh, now that we got a few people in here, I want to uh, prove that uh, I've been shipping packages. So yeah, so I make sure I get over here in front of the camera and you can actually see what I'm doing here. Here's my proof that I've uh, started shipping packages. Mary, if you watched the stream the other day, you saw me put one of these boxes together and I fought with it and gave up and whatever. Now watch me. It's like uh, wax on, wax off ninja type stuff going on. Bam! Eyes closed! This is prime stream content here, people. Bam! Do you doubt me now? With my eyes closed. <laughs> I might have put together a few of those. Uh, let me grab a t-shirt here and ship off a t-shirt. That's a small, that's a small. And if you want one of these t-shirts as well, again, all you got to do is buy two 85-pound, $85 crown packages during the stream and live in the U.S. I think I got one. Okay, I think this is an extra large. All right, here's what you get. This is the one we have left in the XL. Uh, I don't think we ever sold these or anything. I think we just gave them away to sometimes when people would come by our office. Uh, and also, I think we gave a few away at like uh, maybe a convention or something. But we've got some extras of these laying around. Uh, and at some point, we'll probably print some new ones for episode two. So... I am throwing that in a box. Again, I know awesome stream content, right? Shipping stuff, and I'm going to throw you a few extra coins in there so you can give them out as uh, gifts to your friends. Go on. Oh yeah, let me check the weight on this. Oh, that's good. I think I can put one in there. The other thing you're getting is uh, I'm sending network cables from the office because I'm throwing them away if not. So you get a network cable as well. Yeah, now you're excited. Now you guys want to buy. What? I get a network cable. That's right. It's Cat 5, by the way, not Cat 6. You're not going to get any 10 gigabit Ethernet over that. Uh, let me do things again. I know, awesome streaming material, right? Packing boxes. Uh, this will only take a second. I forgot to set up my uh, printing account. And then I'll get caught back up on questions. Attempt to get caught back up on questions. Typo. There we go. Printing, printing, printing. Done. For those who missed it last time, I did actually do, try to do some shipping and uh, did get some boxes shipped afterwards. If you're one of the poor bastards who has a box right up here that's waiting for you, uh, I am working on those and getting through them. I got my first almost a dozen done, uh, and they are a pain in the uh, booty. 
Uh, no, I will not send anyone my dog. Someone asked if I could send their dog. Let's see. Uh, question. People are quite nervous because of the uh, removal of the Portalarium office. You, the lead coder, doing packaging and Star and British, seem to have moved into the background. Please simply reassure us that everything is all right and going well. Everything is uh, all right and going well. Uh, the Honestly, the biggest disconnect from Richard, it's one of those things we made fun of before, uh, but he would always robot in rather than like chat. Uh, he's more of a talker and he can do it like on his phone, so just whenever he had free time, he would robot in if he wasn't in town. Uh, but now, of course, it's only when he's in town do we get any FaceTime with him. Uh, so that actually, the, as much fun as we made of the robot and its his lack of understanding of personal space where he'd roll the robot right up on you, uh, not having the robot uh, has actually been a pretty big, uh, that's probably been the biggest detraction we've had from things. Uh, Star is still doing everything that he did before, so I'm not sure why people think he is more out of the picture. He's posting every day. He's the one... Trust me, I don't want to do that crap that he does. All the the front page posts and the stories and the planning out stretch goals and I don't even know how half the store stuff works. So uh, I couldn't even uh, think about doing that. Hold on, let me find. There we go. So yeah, so uh, nothing has really changed. I think what has happened is now that we're home, uh, working from home, one thing that's uh, quite different is I'm getting a lot of FaceTime with you guys. Because uh, I have free time to get on here, so uh, it probably feels like I'm stepping up because it's really whoever you guys hear talking the most is the guy that you feel like is probably in charge. Uh, but really not that much has changed, except as I mentioned, having a, not having the robot around is actually kind of a, kind of a bit of a bummer. Uh, also, the not having the office uh, has been a blessing in a lot of ways, but we probably will be going back and getting an office. Uh, in the not too terribly distant future, I haven't started looking right now uh, because I've got multiple things coming up and trying to get this release out. But uh, we will probably start looking for an office, uh, and Star and I will probably find something uh, in a different area than we were in last time. And again, that's part of the reason why when we went office list, we moved the Ultima Museum stuff to Richards rather than trying to keep that in the office wherever we move it because that was one of the painful things. And then we don't have to worry about servers anymore. So really what we're going to be looking for is like a room, the four walls, room for some desks, uh, and an internet connection, nothing else. We don't have to worry about moving 17 servers. Let's see. Uh, and I'm falling behind. Apparently there's a maximum scroll back distance on this thing, so you may have to repeat some questions. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Legion Myth. Question, if we haven't received our physical goods, can we opt to have it held for SodaCon visit and just pick it up to save some postage? Absolutely. Uh, and if you want to, you can just message me in the forums, message Chris in the forums. Uh, I was first, so I got to pick my name first. Technically, I think Tassilo might have been first, or Scott, uh, Scott might have been first. But anyways, I'm one of the first ones. There weren't any Chris's yet. But uh, yeah, that's that's great. If you message me there, I'll put a note on the spreadsheet that's our now our final. Here's all the people we got to ship to list, and uh, not ship yours, and instead hold it. And glad to throw in some extra goodies for you too when I do that. Yeah, it looks like I'm at. Uh, there's a maximum scroll back. Dang, guys, I missed some of your earlier questions. You may have to spam them again. Our pets from the crown store. Wait, our pets from the crown store are supposed to be able to level up eventually, aren't they? Uh, there's some things we've talked about doing with the pets from the crown store. I don't think we officially said anything. Uh, maybe did it. Uh, Ice Strider, congratulations! And yes, you have now achieved your goal. You have pushed poor, poor Winfield off the list. Uh, thank you very much for ruining Winfield's day. Uh, he'll be on again probably watching the 2 o'clock stream and uh, have something to say about that, though. Uh, but yeah, so the stuff we've talked about with pets, we've talked about ways to like let you turn your non-combat pets into combat pets, just because it's one of those things people request and it's not that hard for us. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I haven't heard about leveling up. And also, uh, it looks like I missed a... No, that's an old one. 
excuse the beeping that's uh hey viper Mort mortality thank you very much uh i lost it that oh the forgive the beeping that was the uh i'm gonna get a bunch of emails here pretty quickly that are the warnings that the company email is going to go out notice that is happening while i'm not touching my screen uh it's almost like uh, there's somebody else here that that'll get sent out here shortly Yeah, uh, that, that is one of the things I've heard a few people mention is that they were worried because uh, they only see me. But again, it's because I'm making time for this stuff. For those who haven't heard me talk about my wacky work schedule, and another reason why I like the, the uh, working from home thing right now, is I wake up at 4 o'clock every morning and uh, get up and start my day and work from 4 until noon. And then on stuff that I have to work on for the game or for the company uh, for the game but then I immediately move to work on stuff that I want to work on after that and lately I've been spending the time streaming to you guys so if you see me so when I started my stream at noon that was I had already finished my eight hour day uh, and I in case people are wondering why four uh, I don't know why four uh, the one thing I I at one point I was getting up earlier than that but I kept having problems because we have a bunch of backup stuff that runs uh, right up until 4. It ends about 4.10 every day. Uh, so it's actually blocking me from uh, using uh, revision control software and doing some of the stuff I need to do. So That's why 4. And, oh, I'm behind again. Uh, Maglinear, thank you very much. And also Ty uh, for the follow. And uh, Ty Focon, 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 thank you for... AU con. Let's go with that. Thank you for Australia con. Uh, thank you very much for your thousand bits. Uh, again, we're going to be doing running the bits on a monthly basis, unless I hear some people uh, angry about it, just because that matches up more with our releases. It was set by default to a week, so I think last time we may have seen it, it already cleared some. In case you're wondering how those guys got to the very top like that, we know how Snugs got to the very top. Uh, and uh, I Star Strider, thank you again to all you guys. And Sea Bear Black Market, who's not, I don't think he's on the stream right now. Uh, let me get back to more questions, though. Let's see. Brown Coat Jason would really like to use non combat pets as eternal patterns, applying them to tamed summon pets. And getting that, that's a neat idea. Uh, again, we've talked about it, uh, about making, the, making it so you can turn your non combat pets into combat pets. Uh, but yeah, that's a cool idea is using them as eternal patterns. Uh, but it would be kind of weird to take... I mean, I'm thinking of some of the sillier creatures like the mechanical bird or something like that or the mechanical dog. And let me just put that on my obsidian bear. Uh, so there, we, we need to come up with something. Otherwise, people, it would just be weird. And some of those pets are so small you'd like lose sight of them. Uh, but uh, no, I mean, that's a neat idea though. Let's see. And uh, uh, Snugs wants a taming artifact. One second, I'm going to write that down. Uh, and I do have one more thing to ship here in a minute. Uh, another person with a shirt. Let me see if I got an address back yet. One second. Yes, I did. Uh, I got another person here to ship. Let me do that real quick, and then I'll get back to answering a bunch of questions. Uh, this will go quick. The email address, I don't have to type it in. All right, let's see. I'm trying out some new boxes today. This one is a, I'm throwing you a coin and I'm going to do, I had a couple of these guys laying around. I think I've actually got about a dozen of them. I'll spread them out though. Uh, but it's a uh, Sodacon, not my personal one. I actually have one that I keep in my, my collection for stuff. Uh, but this was a Sodacon badge. It was an extra. I'm going to throw that in there. I'll throw a couple of coins in there. 
some unk, and then I'll also give you a, uh, here's another fun one I'm going to start sending out with people. These are the guys that we took over the office from this last move. They left all these stickers in there because they were acquired by somebody else, and the, I guess the company name died with the uh, acquisition. We got that there. Yeah, that's a weight I like. Four ounces. All right, this one's going out to uh, Mr. North Carolina. And it likes your address. And a print, and a print, and a print. And now we can get back to questions. There you go. Your box is ready to go out now. Let me answer a few more questions and I'll go check to see if anybody else has uh, is owed something. Oh, Taming Artifact. That's right. I was going to make uh, Snugs a Taming Artifact for Snugs. I'm not going to do this for anybody who gets to the top of the list, but since he got there the first time without any encouragement or anything, I'm putting, I just put that down. A Taming Artifact uh, that is somehow snugs related. I'm not sure what a snugs is, but I'll figure something out. Uh, let's see. Nice here, giant. Uh, oh, yeah, look at the little puppy dog. Uh, let's see. Crown stores. Uh, Devil Cult says, is this the Friday live stream or will there be another one later? This is the warm up. I'm the warm up band. Sometimes a warm-up band's better than the real thing, though. Uh, this is not the real, <coughs> the real Friday live stream. There's that is going to be after this one. Uh, there's going to be a two-hour break. I'm going to stream until about two, and then I'll do a two-hour break, and then I'll be back on that one as well to host. Uh, and as uh, the last couple times have shown, I spend a lot of my time just standing out here in the rain on the live stream. I'm sure that's really selling people on the game. Let me go check inside my dungeon see what's in there. Uh, question. That which lurks. Will the changes or change the summon demon make it into this release? Yes, that is uh, from a previous stream. Some people pointed out some stuff with demons. Uh, so what I found was I need to do a little bit more work to try and balance their health. As soon as I fix the problem with the strength and the health... Uh, the problem was, uh, for those who didn't know, the demon was actually significantly weaker than he was supposed to be. One, he has a chaos bolt that did nothing. I mean, it did something, but it hit for like five points of damage. And it's because he had a really low intelligence that also did not scale up. So I added intelligence to, to him, which makes that scale up. So his the power of his chaos bolt will scale up with the, uh, with the summoner's power. Uh, the second thing... Hold on. The second thing was he did get a ton of health and then he got a ton of strength as you like leveled up and skilled, especially if you were specialized. But it was being applied in the calculations thing. Everybody knows that the higher your strength is, the higher your health goes, and that's just in the base map. But because of the order it was being applied and it didn't have the phase change, and that's one of the things we can set. It was actually calculating his health and then calculating his strength and the strength is not factoring into the health. So I actually changed it and fixed that uh, and then he shot up to like 4,000 something hit points uh, and I immediately turned it off. Uh, but on QA he should be doing both more damage right now and his Chaos Bolt should be doing some more damage. Uh, but I'll make a note to remind myself that I need to go figure out the better compromise to have a demon that, that it's pretty well, and I mean, he was hitting for 100 plus for me, uh, and uh, but doesn't have 4,000 hit points, has more in the range you'd expect for a, a high-end pet. But uh, also, for those who hadn't heard, the plan is, and you can actually see it in the, the spell description change, is that is a lesser demon summoning. Uh, the greater demon summoning is still on the schedule that will be the one where you summon them, 
and then you have to take control of them. Make sure Demon Health gets adjusted. Got it. Check. Let's see, going down the list here. Okay, I'm making some progress. I think I'm beating the, uh, uh, beating the uh, typing right here. Uh, Christ Pallet says, could you send me Felicia's email? Uh, yeah, I'll send that right along with you to, uh, along with uh, Shooter's uh, personal email and uh, George Lucas's and all the other guys who I've got on my email list. No. Uh, let's see. Artemis Sacrifice, 100 bits. Yeah! Thank you, Artemis. And Artemis is another one of those guys that just does a lot of stuff for the game and has for years and is super constructive. Uh, not Again, not just the financial support, but also, you know, gives me feedback personally. Uh, runs a great town. Uh, just lots of good stuff. Hold on. I'm going to have to blow my nose. Emergency. Vanish. Poof. <laughs> All right. Now I can come back. All right. And uh, let me do my urging people to, uh, while well, I have a little uh, break in my train of thought, uh, for those who didn't know, shipping has begun. I actually did some shipping on uh, Tuesday, no, Wednesday, uh, and have got at least getting better at the process of doing it. If you missed it earlier, I folded a box with my eyes closed to uh, prove that I've actually been doing some stuff. Uh, my The thing I would encourage people, if nothing else, follow the stream so you can get updates when we go live with stuff and uh, can get people joining in. Get your friends to join in. If you want to share any of the posts that we do on Facebook, go like our Facebook uh, page. Uh, all those things you can do to help get word out on the game. Because that's the thing we need more than anything right now. Uh, is uh, just getting more people into the game. And this was the month, uh, just for an update on that. So this was the month we had hoped to do a bigger advertising push. Uh, but just because revenue has been a little slower than normal, we haven't done as much as we wanted to. I have been doing about $100 a day ads, uh, but it's not nearly what I want to do on things. Uh, and also, money this month isn't as slow as it seems, if you look at the webpage, uh, because there was a huge spike. Oh, this is another thing I need to start reminding you guys about. There was a huge spike uh, right like on the 27th and 28th of last month, I think. Uh, that was due to uh, everybody buys all their stuff right before the end of the release uh, because we had told them that the crown prices were going up. Uh, so it actually, like that was at the end of last month, but kind of really was this month. But anyways, let me remind you guys uh, that uh, the crown prices are going to go up again. Uh, we've we had that 20% sale on for so long we didn't want to just immediately can it and pull it off uh, just because we were afraid it would uh, hurt revenue significantly. So instead, we're ramping it down. Uh, this will be another month where we ramp it down. You can guess how much. You saw how much the last one was. Uh, but we will be ramping that down, and we'll be doing that over the next few months. And then we will not... Then crown sales will be a very rare thing after that. Uh, it'll be for things like Richard's birthday and... Uh, uh, we'll probably have something around like Black Friday time, but it'll be a pretty rare thing once we do that. So uh, go get your crowns now. I'll start remembering to do that. Let me add that to my list of things I'm supposed to tell you guys all the time. Tell them about crown sale deduction reduction. Over and over and again. Uh, another thing that's on my list of things to tell you guys about is QA is live. Woohoo! Uh, we're working on another QA build right now. We had a few build machine problems with some upgrading stuff. Uh, so it may not make today. I'm trying to get it out today. We'll see. Let me check to see where it's at right now. It is... Uh, failed. Oh, 
And this is one of the things we're having problems with. We could looks like we could probably get a Q or a PC, a Windows uh, QA build out today, but I'm thinking the Linux version and the Mac versions are running late. And that uh, some of that is those take longer for a couple different reasons. Uh, but they are building for two different graphics platforms that we have built for both uh, OpenGL and also for uh, uh, Vulkan and some other stuff. But anyways, uh, but those take longer to build. But uh, yeah, it looks like, and then those failed, so we're having to restart those. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But we may have a build for you for the weekend. But uh, there's already a QA build up that you guys should go try. And let me, the other thing I was going to point out was I've been watching the metrics on it. It's really hard to tell comparing QA and our live builds because live has everybody plays on live. Well, the people who go to play on QA are generally just the hardcore people who generally have better specs, uh, better spec machines. Uh, and uh, then the other part is they the behavior on QAs, people get on live, and I mean, we see 24 hour sessions sometimes on live, uh, people just playing nonstop through. I watched some of these streamers. One of them uh, was streaming when I went to bed, and he was streaming when I got up. Uh, but uh, on QA, the behavior is typically uh, shorter, like they'll go and they'll play for an hour or two, rather than playing for six or eight hours at a time. So I'm telling you that because Right now, QA looks, uh, the performance is better, the load times are better. Uh, the average load time, and we're not just a little bit, but uh, significantly better. The load average load time for Novia dropped by 8 seconds average on this build. Uh, so we're actually kind of excited about that. The frame rate was also up. And also for a change, stability was up. Now I'm giving all those things as again all that ex explanation of differences between QA players and live players was in preparation for me telling you about that because the shorter play cycles, like only an hour or two at a time, we know what percentage of people exited by crash rather than exited cleanly. When you have people getting on playing for an hour, an hour, an hour, uh, it kind of skews that number. But right now. It does appear that the crash rate is significantly better and we have a little bit of history to go on those things so we'll see uh we're gonna try right now our plan is still to try to move forward with this upgrade this 2018.3 unity 2018.3 upgrade uh, for the live build and right now we haven't seen anything that'll talk us out of it we may push out the live and then immediately have to turn around and do a patch going back to 2018.2 uh but we'll see uh, the same thing we had a big performance increase at the start of this last release that we ended up rolling out rolling back because it dropped it increased crash rates by about 40% uh, that was the streaming texture stuff it had some other weird side effects as well but they were pretty tolerable and really only hit people playing in lower res stuff uh, but uh, anyways go play QA give us some more data please uh, right now we know of one uh, blocker thing but we're probably are going to go with it because we've only seen it happen on one guy's computer but there's one person with Linux specific Linux version that uh, doesn't seem to like the switch from 2018.2 to 2018.3 uh, we are gonna there's some things we can do for them though we're trying those now just some changes in graphics uh, to hopefully reduce his crashes or make it so he can play the game again but back to my other chat Oh yeah, did I get in all my pitches, all the things I was supposed to tell you guys? Uh, let's see, QA is live, go play. Uh, recruit your friends to play. Uh, if you want to do streaming and help promote the game that way, awesome. Let me know, I'll help you out however I can. Uh, and uh, reminder, crown sales are going away at the end of this release. The Wednesday, or the Thursday morning when we go live is when we're going to turn those, turn that up again. Let's see. Uh, it picked a bad color for your name. Malim? 
Uh, question, can we increase the amount of lights we can use in a city five-story stone and timber basement? Tough to light out all the rooms, use some of the decos. Uh, that's one of those I think has come up before and we probably just didn't jeer it. Let me jeer that right now or add it to my notes so I can do it. There's no reason we should be restricting you guys on lights in your basement. We restrict people uh, lights in your city, in like your your town, like when you're out in the, the main pot or the city or whatever, in your actual house, not your basement. But we do that because we don't want you destroying performance and lights are way, way, way more expensive for rendering and figuring out if we need to render them and which are the best priorities and all that stuff. Even though we can cull a lot of those lights, they still end up being expensive. But in your basement, if you want to make a crappy basement that has like a thousand lights in it that runs at like two frames a second, we should let you guys do that. Uh, that's up to you. Oh. Hold on, I gotta ask some of their address. Send me an address and a shirt size. And that reminds me, I should probably go check that stuff. So let me add that uh, that note. Because, yeah, that's we shouldn't be limiting you guys on lights. We should let you do what you want to with lights and basements. Uh, for a while, I think there's like this silly mentality that some of us had. That's like, oh, we want to like really restrict the lower tier like stuff in basements. Like make the small houses like really restrict what you can do with them. Uh, but we've kind of moved away from that and just like we're trying to let you guys run free and remove as many restrictions as we can just having restrictions for performance reasons and those type of stuff so uh, but uh, let's see let me get this person a shirt uh, and then I will get back to you guys in one second Do, do, do. Oh, and uh, you did not give me a name. There we go. Let me take care of that. Typing it up. Got it. Do, do again great streaming content here I know you guys love it uh, but this is also the other reason I'm doing sending out the shirts and sending out random stuff like network cables and junk like that uh, is because uh, I won't flip the camera around anymore because I've done it so many times but this room is jam-packed this is where all the uh, office stuff came that we decided we wanted to keep was here and then I've got more stuff down in my uh, garage uh, and uh, again, that's more proof that we plan on having an office again soon. Uh, if not, we probably would have just like sold it or goodwilled it or something like that. But we wanted to keep all the stuff that would make it uh, cheap and easy to restart. So I've got a bunch of desks and chairs in my garage. So uh, my uh, five-year-old, I'm used to saying four-year-old, she just turned five. My five-year-old loves having the chairs in the house and she goes rolling around the downstairs uh, breaking things. Good times. Let's see. All right, hold on there, Texas. Getting your package ready. Let's see. I will again demonstrate for you. Again, absolute verifiable proof that I've been shipping boxes. You guys ready? Here we go. You may not be able to see, my head is looking straight up. So that was it. See, I did, did it without looking. What'd you think, my view? Was that pretty impressive? All right, well, I think these are the only ones we have left and the size that was requested. So you too will be getting one of these fancy. Spanchy. They're actually pretty nice shirts. You guys probably see me wearing these on streams all the time. One of my favorite ones. That is a, uh, I think, I'm trying to remember, but I think Star might have made this. Not really, but, 
he definitely was the one who picked out the colors and did everything, you know, tried to make sure it was cool. And uh, But it's obviously the Dennis Lubay painting, uh, cover painting, that uh, turned into black and white. Give you a couple of those guys, a couple of these guys for ornaments. That's probably good. Andy with the tape gun. Oh, I forgot to throw in a network cable. All right, sorry about that. Let me put out the uh, put the weight on there. Bam. 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 There's another one. That, oh, and there's one person I know I've missed. Oh, no, I got them all right. That's right. I'll go check my uh, the sales and see. See if I've missed any others. Let me get back to some questions first. Let's see. Oh, I'm losing questions there. Uh, ah, lost another one. Super cool. What uh, other game has a dev team uh, that does that kind of thing? I'm not even sure what you said, but yes, uh, we do try to be different, and that's we've tried to be different right from day one. Uh, part of it was uh, just being super open with the community about how you know the game and the development and involving you guys in it. I think that's one of the misconceptions. Uh, this is one of those things I could talk about for hours. But that was one of the misconceptions early on in our project is that uh, it was a project where you guys just give us money and we go in a closet and make a game and come out and hand you a game. And that was not what we were really selling. And we probably didn't uh, get that across too well early on. Probably still don't get it across. Uh, but we this is more of a half game dev uh, jam session where we invite you guys to help out with design and feedback and actually talk to you guys and just figure out how to sometimes your your feedback is good and we have to but we have to like you know fit it to the game and fit it to design specs but you know this was not really a hand us money and we give you a game this was uh hand us money and help us develop the game as we go along and you guys can take part in it in lots of ways so yeah so i'm sure that's what you're talking about right i don't know my scroll back got cut off again Let's see. Uh, that which lurks. Could I have a... Oh, oh and uh, thank you. Oh, good. Sinash Kazagal just subbed. Thank you very much. Oh, and a little thing fell into the bucket. I actually saw it. Again, I'm pointing at stuff you guys can't see. Uh, the little cup on the right-hand side. I added that thing. I'm not sure why, but it's there. Uh, but an artifact that uh boost the power of summon similar to the staff of death uh so i'm not just doing uh uh artifacts for anybody who asks for one that's uh we need some more summon artifacts and that's another one of those things we can make you guys make choices is by having you replace gear with taming gear or summoning gear you're making a choice because you're giving up whatever you had on that that gear slot before uh, so that is one of those times when we really can make summons significantly more powerful or tame things more powerful. Uh, and yes, I know that you guys have said like a hundred times, give us taming artifacts! Uh, and I, I will get that on my list to move that up in priority. But that is one of those things by letting you, you know, you have to give up your weapon slot or your back slot uh, or, you know, neck slot or whatever. Or you already give up neck slot but for tamers. But, uh, you know, you have to give up a body slot to get some special benefit with taming that is the type of stuff where we can really give you guys some big bonuses because you're trading something for it so do 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 hold on making notes and i will go check the uh sales here in a little while and see if there's anybody i missed oh and for those who don't know what i'm talking about with mist is i'm doing uh I'm trying to spice up my streams a little, uh, which is, and also clear up my house, which is if you are in the U.S., sorry, everyone else, uh, everyone else, you are awesome, but you are also expensive to ship to right now uh, until I come up with a better solution for all this stuff. 
But, uh, oh, and uh, thank you for Flinder Kevin Timidin. Uh, but if you buy an $85 package and you live in the U.S., uh, I will send you some coins and some swag back there that I've got extras. You've probably seen me packing. If you buy two, I will send you a t-shirt. Uh, we are getting low on sizes, but I think we've got small to extra large uh, right now. And there's just a variety of t-shirts. It's just whatever I grab out of the pile. Uh, there's some of the ones that you probably just saw, like that black one with the red. The black black t-shirt with white with the red hand uh, and then there's some uh, team t-shirts that are like we had for our 5k walk that we did we've got a few extra of those and there's a couple of launch t-shirts those are getting pretty slim though I've just got a pile back there I'm gonna pull out of today so if you buy two and you live in the US uh, I will get you a t-shirt and ship it while you guys watch so you know it's happening right now since we have such a great track record with shipping Anyways, uh, oh, this is one that's not one of your questions, uh, but uh, this is one that I had someone ask me in-game. Uh, make sure I'm caught up on my chat down here, which is, uh, it came up yesterday because I was online uh, and I would forgotten, didn't know anything was going on, which is just another one of those things that we, uh, not having working five feet from the other engineers uh, caught me by surprise. I was looking up and my network icon came on. I'm sure you guys have all seen it, that little blue weird looking network icon that shows up once in a while uh, upper right hand corner and I was like, uh oh, I don't like that coming on because I'm pretty sure my connection's solid. And then after about uh, 30 seconds it I saw everybody I got like online, so and so online, so and so online. Uh, I've got a lot of friends so it showed up a ton. But uh, then it did the instances closing. So what that means when you get that instance is closing in 60 minutes. And basically what I just described, the whole network icon. And then the, your friends all suddenly being online. And then the instance closing. So that is we do, uh, we have a server. Our servers are set up so that we can push out uh, server patches on the fly without destroying the experience for players. Uh, which is, we, we call them server roles, which really is the way it works is you guys are all connected to a server. You're still connected to that same server, but we're setting a shutdown window for that server uh, so that after 60 minutes, it's going to force you to move to the next one. But at the same time it does that, it's also started up a second server set and it's doing the server, you know, that's the real server now. Anybody who connects at that point will be connecting to that server. Uh, so anyways, when you see that, that's what that is, is it's a live server role. Uh, and yes, it is a little annoying, but it is way better than like, hey, taking the server down for a 10 minute patch or whatever. Uh, this is uh, much, much less painful. And then just when, you, if you just zone, like normal, like you're playing the game, uh, it'll take you and you'll be on the new server set and you won't even know anything happened. If you stay in that scene for more than 60 minutes, it'll kick you out. And that is because it's closing down that server instance. Now my nose is stopping up. I can tell when my nose starts stopping up because uh, I start running out of breath when I'm talking because I can't breathe through my nose and talk. All right, I'm back on the questions. Let's see. Pizza, blah, 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 live stream, you see. Can't even see Dippy's feet. Uh, were my feet visible? Uh, uh, Dippy Bird actually is right here. I keep him on my desk. And use him for science demonstrations because I show my four-year-old. Look, the water goes up. Isn't that cool? Trying to show her how this stuff works. Dippy Bird. You guys seen these before? Anyways, that's the dippy bird. And yes, I have ugly feet. I broke a bone in my foot a while back, so I have like a big scar on one, one foot. Funny story, which since you called out my feet, I'll I'll mention the tell you the story. This I, 
uh, was walking and stepped wrong uh, at the gym after getting out of the hot tub uh, and uh, excruciating pain for my foot and then I noticed like oh I like popped a bone in the middle of my foot I like I dislocated a bone in the middle of my foot and I am pretty good with pain because I've had five knee surgeries and other surgeries and uh, did uh, very competitive sports for a long time so uh, I did the man thing which is I pulled that's my second toe I pulled my toe and pushed the bone back into joint uh, it hurt like crazy uh, but then I walked on for a while and then uh, after a while it popped out again I was like oh uh, so after limping around on that for uh, uh, about a week I was finally like, okay, fine, I'm going to go see the doctor about it. Uh, and I went to the uh, foot doctor, and he looked at it, uh, and I explained it to him. It's like, you can see I can pull on my the toe, and oh, it hurts, and then I, but I can push it back in the joint, and it'll stay in the joint. Uh, and he looked at it, and he looked at me, and he said, I see the problem. There's not a joint there. Your bone is broken, and that's your bone sticking up. <laughs> and you're able to pull your toe and get the bone back into place. But then after you walk on it, it pops back out. So anyways, that's why I had foot surgery. Actually, it was, uh, he gave me the option of wearing a cast for uh, eight weeks, but it was right before a ACL festival, a music festival here in Austin I go to that involves a lot of walking. Uh, the other option was to do a surgery. He would put a titanium plate on it uh, and I could walk the next day. Uh, thank you, T-Branch. Yeah, you gotta get back in the running here, T-Branch. 295, wow. Uh, and also thank you, Akinama. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so I did the plate option because I didn't want to miss the, the uh, ACL Fest music concert. I think it was a good year. I think that was the, uh, they had Bob Dylan was one of the guys. Bit of a Bob Dylan fan. Not huge. All right, getting back into it. Do, 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 do. Uh, Rufus says that Atos people found out about his consulting and thought it was a new thing and not something he'd been doing. Oh, uh, I think he's talking about uh, Star, whatever the little group was. He, As you might expect, Star is pretty well known, and he always gets requests for consulting on things. Uh, so yeah, so he lists on there, and I think he has like, I think he's had at least a couple of those, like his full-time consulting on his uh, LinkedIn forever, so... Uh, and that's also another thing that we have made a big deal about with our company is uh, we've got multiple people who do stuff on the side in their free time. All we ask is, and this is really true, and this is how we've always been, people who've been to the office or know us well know this, is we don't have a PTO policy. Uh, if you're one of the people who has stuck it out with us and we haven't fired you yet because we are actually pretty ruthless on firing people who are low performers, uh, then take whatever time you need, uh, get your uh, get your stuff done, and that's that's our PTO policy. Uh, same thing goes for stuff on the sides. Uh, for those, and I, I'll go ahead and plug them here. Uh, Undone, one of the coders on the project, our new coder on the project, uh, our new and youngest coder on the project. I always say that because he looks the youngest, but he's actually, I don't know, maybe second or third oldest. Uh, but uh, Undone on the side works on uh, Saga of Leucemia, which is another little MMO crowdfunding game uh, that we fully support. But he does some part-time programming for him. That was actually, he was doing that when he came to us, and that was one of the things. It was like, can I continue doing that? I'm like, yeah. Uh, but we don't make people give up their entire lives come work for us. Come and give us your you know, 40 hours a week. Give us whatever you can give us. Uh, do a great job, and if you're awesome, we keep you around, and if you're not, we make some changes. Uh, so, yeah, same thing with Star, same thing with, uh, you know, Taslo, and, I mean, there's a ton of people who, on the team who do that. Uh, Wizard Smoke teaches college classes on the side at uh, ACC here in Austin, Austin Community College. And, uh, I mean, again, across the board. Oh, I'm going to blow my nose. I have to turn off the thing. Uh, yeah, and I know some of that stuff gets started over on uh, Reddit. 
Uh, you just have to take anything you read on Reddit with a grain of salt. I know there's some very nice people there. Uh, that's my Trump uh, quote for the day. <laughs> very nice people on both sides. That's it. Uh, Christ Palette thought about accepting Google Pay. Oh, man, we've... It's one of those things... Uh, the pay stuff is really tedious. Uh, we really don't have a web team. We just have some people who dabble in web stuff. It probably shows from our website. Uh, Tassilo is our only guy who is a full-time web guy. And right now he's on a... Uh, a uh, what the hell do you call it? He's been working with us for seven years. And he wanted to take some time off. Can't remember what it's called. You, everybody out there knows what it's called except for me. But anyway, so he's he's just uh, filling in whenever he needs to for emergencies on stuff uh, right now. Well, he takes a, not a leave of absence, but a <sighs> words. That's what I'm an engineer. Uh, but yeah, uh, Google Pay is what this is about. Uh, Christ Palad thoughts on taking Google Pay. So yeah, so we don't really have the web time. But the other thing we found is we've added different things. Everybody's changing their stupid APIs constantly. It's a full-time job to keep up with this. So we try to keep as the minimal possible that gives us the widest coverage. Which so far for us has just been like Stripe, which is pretty much credit cards. Uh, and then PayPal, which is pretty universal, even though I'm not a fan of the company. Uh, I am a fan of the service. Uh, and then uh, uh, Amazon is the other one. And those three, again, those We'll probably fix those up, but like if Amazon were to come out with like a big API change and demand that we update everything and change everything, we may just abandon uh, Amazon. Uh, we get a small percentage of our money through it, but I think it's Amazon accounts for 8%. Uh, but yeah, we would probably fix it up. But yeah, we're not adding too many more new stuff. We were, For a while we were taking Bitcoin, that again, all the stuff on that changed and what the group we were using went poof. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. I'm doing an old man thing. I'm eating a prune. All right, try and catch up on questions again. Uh, that which lurks. Question, could I get a book of summon? Uh, summons, focus, weapon type, artifact uh, that buffs non-undead summons in a similar manner to the Staff of Death. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'm not going to make it for you, but I will make uh, some things for summon. I already got that one on the list. Uh, taming artifacts and summon artifacts. Again, it's one of those things when you have to give up a gear slot for it, it's it's uh, pretty good. Or it can be pretty good. I'm going to do something crazy. I'm sorry to all those people I'm bypassing. I'm going right to the end because I'm realizing I'm answering questions from like 20 minutes ago. Uh, Red Hammer 04, question, Chris, what can we expect to see of episode 2 before the end of Q1 and maybe into Q2? Uh, so it's one of those things we always have trouble distinguishing it. So the only thing we're going to lock episode 1, people who haven't bought episode 2 yet, the only thing we're going to lock them out of is going to be content, like the actual scenes for episode 2, uh, which will also include the story and the quest stuff for episode 2. So right now you're seeing episode two stuff in the game. I mean, let's the dungeon stuff. Uh, there's going to be the programmable NPC. Uh, uh, programmable NPC. Someone just told me they're having a drinking game and they're getting drunk watching my show. Apparently, there's some things I say. If you had to take a drink every time I said "ah," uh, you'd be you'd be dead. But uh, yeah, so we're seeing episode two features come in now. Episode 2 content, we're going to be, probably will start showing up in Q2, uh, but not Q1. We had talked about doing some Episode 2 maps, like that type of content, uh, but we decided we didn't want to rush it. We wanted to do them right. We wanted to set some real standards. We wanted to talk through everything. We wanted to come up with some uh, integration tests and things to make sure we don't get into a sloppy scene situation like what we have with episode one. We want episode two to be way better, way higher quality. 
uh, content. Uh, so, to your question of will you see episode two uh, stuff coming in for Q1, Q2, you, you are seeing it now, but we're letting episode one people have it. The only stuff we're going to lock to episode two is going to be the content, like the actual scenes. Uh, so, yes, you are seeing episode two content now. Uh, and again, we're, we're not planning on changing things we, from how we've worked in the past. We're just going to keep pushing out new features, new features, new fe features, and we'll push out a, like a chunk of content uh, along the way. But we're not going to do a big, like, hold everything back and at the last minute, here's episode two. That just doesn't work with our uh, the way we develop and the way we build as a team and work as a team and uh, just not how we've evolved. Again, that would break the whole you guys are along with us for the journey and can give us feedback on stuff. And we're making the game for you. With, not just for you, but with you. Uh, the real black X axe. Uh, question, is it really worth the devs, uh, dev team's time to provide a Linux client? Why not focus on Windows and Mac OS X? Uh, it's worth it. There's a number of people who are on Linux. There's uh, other reasons to it as well. I mean, it's not that much time. This is kind of a new thing. Uh, the Linux build has started taking longer for some reason in 2018.3, and I, I expected some bug they introduced. Uh, but it's really in terms of work. Uh, let me see if I can get a screenshot here that I can isolate for you guys. Do, 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 do. Let me uh, take a quick snippet here. Show you some secret stuff. Hold on, wait for it. Trying to take a screenshot of something so I can slap it up on screen here uh, and uh, show you guys. Let me save that out and then I can show you. And I can show you, the reason I'm doing this is just so you understand it's it's not that much work for us. Uh, one of the things we do as developers, uh, I think we do really well, and we've had other teams consult with us on this type, uh, type of stuff, is automating stuff uh, setting up shields, uh, lightning shields is what I always call them, as integration tests to make sure we don't have the same breakages twice uh, and just making sure everything is you know, but easy so anybody can do it. One second and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let me browse. Alright, here we go. So that right there is, uh, I think that's on your screen now. This is one of the panels, we've got a bunch of these different panels, but this is one of the panels for building the game. Uh, this is all automated through Team City. Uh, if you look on that you can see like the challenge in running Linux is you click that run button. Yeah, I know, it's not that, not that tough. Uh, we have everything down to, you know, everything is automated, everything is step by step by step, and it is all uh, somewhat idiot proof, mostly idiot proof. And we have to have it idiot proof. It's one of those things the world should have more checklists on things. Uh, doctors should have more checklists. Everybody, engineers should have checklists of things. Well, for us, we didn't, you know, we didn't want to have to have a checklist of like, okay, do this step and then this step and this step and this step. So we have everything so it's automated. So with one click of a button, if I click that uh, middle of the screen, run me first PC, if I run that, it'll trigger all the others and trigger the, uh, uh, the, the synchronized build numbers so you get all the build numbers in sync and then uh, trigger the GM clients and the, the, uh, the non-GM clients, and then with another click, I can do the Mac, uh, Mac GM, Linux, Linux GM, 
there's another button we click and it deploys. So if you think about all that goes into that, I'll go ahead and hide that now. Oh, and then there's the patch stuff. Here's what, what all is in that, and it's all completely automated, uh, which is, you know, it first does like it sets up the build numbers. It grabs everything from our revision control software for that branch. Uh, we have different branches, and we merge and migrate that stuff. So it syncs up all the machines, does all the cleaning that needs to be done, uh, builds hundreds of packages for the different levels, uh, builds all the different shader stuff, builds the client, builds the, puts the client into a fully like separate folder, and then it generates a patch, a delta patch. It goes and it finds all the stuff in there, it finds, looks at from the previous one because it has to know, it has to keep around previous copies around it too. Uh, so it looks, compares to the previous one, builds a delta patch built based on the previous one. Takes that delta patch, uh, again, packages it all up into a torrent, takes a torrent, seeds it to a web seed, uh, the torrent tracker, uh, it updates torrent tracker, it updates the torrent seeds, it puts it out on the seeds for you guys so you can download it. Uh, it pushes, it makes a different version that it takes that and puts it on Steam, updates all the Steam stuff, does the Steam uploads. Uh, it has the same uh, server stuff that goes along with where we build the new server, we build the new data, we do all that stuff. Anyways, the short version is building the Linux client. It, I mentioned it earlier, and I'm sure that's why it came up here, is is it worth the time? Uh, it is worth the time because it doesn't take actually much dev time. The thing that it is taking more time of right now is the actual build process, and that's just due to some change that, that uh, Unity made. And also due to supporting a couple of different uh, uh, rendering pipelines on Unity, which means we have to build like different shader sets and different shader packages and all that stuff. Uh, so, anyways, so that's in case you're wondering how a small team can manage to put out a big MMO. Uh, that is a big chunk of how we manage to do it. Is we automate everything. We do everything we can to make sure that no human is involved with things because as soon as uh, there starts being like even going down a checklist of stuff, you're going to make mistakes. Uh, something's going to get screwed up. It's much, much better to have it all automated. Anyways, that was my little quick dev talk uh, on that stuff. But uh, that is how we actually manage to run the company, even with a small team. And that is also why we will continue to support Linux. Uh, unless Unity breaks something horribly in Unix or in uh, Linux, uh, but uh, we plan on continuing to support Linux forever. I do need to get uh, as people have seen. There's actually a machine on the floor behind me over there. I need to get that sent moved over to the data center because it's a faster build machine that'll cut those times in half. All right. Next question. Uh, can we please get the group loot value lowered to zero? That should be an easy change. Uh, actually, it should be what it should be. That's that's one fix, uh, but that would upset some people as well. That'd be annoying for some people. Uh, it should be that you can set it when you form the group. I thought it was like that already, but apparently not. But that's one thing we had talked about. Make group and uh, I know this is coming up right now because lich essences are dropping which a lot of people want uh, that's going to expand here shortly and there's going to be a couple other essences that come up uh, but yeah they're just under the threshold for loot rolling or whatever so you pick them up as junk loot but then they're super desirable by some people in case anyone was wondering why that most likely came up Uh oh, there's somebody in my dungeon. Got it. Captured, as Richard would say. I have captured that idea. <coughs> uh, let's see. Legion Myth asks, can the buoy ropes, the crab traps, lobster pots be placed as town deco, please? Uh, also, can town deco items be considered for town or non... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can make those. Uh, uh, that seems like something you guys, yeah, you wanted like 
go spice up your dock or whatever. Uh, I could totally see you wanting to have that. Except I wonder if you can do it on docks. Yeah, you should be able to do it on docks. Capturing that! Captured! Got it. Who's in my dungeon? Ah, Rada's over here. Hey, Rada. Uh, let's see. Oh, did I take my totem down? Hold on. Oh, there's no lich totem. Hey, Rada, I'm gonna go kick you out here. Look, I'm actually playing the game now. I'm gonna kick you out because I think I've got some I can put in my... Uh, Totem. Yeah, I got a level 6 Lich Totem. I'll throw a lit level 6 Lich Totem down so you can try it out. Uh, and I've entered a bug. Oh, I am an idiot. Why am I not using a light spell? Uh, I've entered a bug for the loot not showing up on those. Uh, and I believe it's already been fixed. Do, 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 do. While he's on here, let me take a quick break to remind you guys, follow, 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 follow. Need more people following. Uh, <coughs> again, main reason is we're trying to grow the channel because we're trying to grow the game. Uh, and the more people you get watching the channel, the more people you get watching the channel. Ooh, crazy how that works. And then it snowballs and it's all exponentially growing and... Uh, I lost my mouse cursor. There it is. Alright, Rada, you're about to get kicked out. Bam! Disable dungeon adventure mode. Uh, for those who don't know anything about dungeons, that's you can switch between the deco mode and the de adventure mode. Hey, hey, there we go. Somebody listen to me. Thank you, Dub Swub. Uh, you can toggle between adventure mode and non adventure, or in deco mode. Uh, in adventure mode, you. Uh, things spawn if there's stuff there in deco mode you can go in deco stuff and do things which I'm gonna do right now pop snap on there sucker throw down a lich uh, totem all right right I'm about to kick you out again I just changed the totem uh, but this is the idea that players uh, G you know not GMs uh, any player uh, dungeon owner guy can come in here and he can redo his uh, dungeon spice it up add stuff to it swap out stuff and then flip it into adventure mode to actually try out the adventure side of things. Right now, as of this room, yeah, hey, thank you guys, thank you. Oh, I got a sub from Calcano and a sub from Barbaric Wolf One. Oh my goodness, now you guys are working. Oni Ho Forty Two, answer to life, the universe, and everything. And yes, I am a huge Douglas Adams fan. Uh, and I actually had the uh, privilege to meet him before he passed away. He was at uh, said a he was at the E3 in Atlanta, Georgia, back in the really old days, close to 20 years ago. Uh, we were there because I was there for the uh, uh, the company I was with at the time, Intracorp, and uh, that was we had to share a booth with uh, with uh, uh, William Shatner for Tech War that our company did. That was great. Uh, but anyways, one of the good things was Douglas Adams was there doing... Uh, he had his Spaceship Titanic game uh, that he was uh, pimping there and talking to people about. And he was actually out talking to people about stuff. So, cool stuff. Good story to get to meet one of your favorite guys. I, of course, said absolutely nothing. I say I met him. I stood face-to-face -to, -face to him while he talked. <laughs> Close enough, right? That was a very awkward E3 year as well, because that was, in the old days, that was Electronics Entertainment Expo. It doesn't say computer games in there anywhere. So when it started off, it was a mix of different stuff. And it wasn't just computer games, it was also porn. Uh, but that was kind of the last year when there was any porn there. But it was really awkward, because it was like 90% computer game stuff. And then like just a couple of porn booths scattered around, and you just felt so awkward for the people. and. Uh, that's also why you know, like it was always 18 plus to go get into E3 for the longest time for those who care about that stuff. Did I switch it? I'm sitting here talking, forgetting what I'm doing. 
Oh yes, enable a d dungeon adventure mode. Now I can go in. Yeah, so then you can come out, enable a dungeon adventure mode, go back in, and then everything will be playable. And the difference between that and the reason why you probably want to keep it in deco mode unless you're actually going for an adventure is when you enter in adventure mode, uh, you can't see it for a dungeon this size, but I'm sure like uh, Tazar or Artemis or somebody who has a big dungeon uh, will see that there's a little bit longer entry time. That is because we, when you enter in adventure mode, we lock everything and we build the nav mesh for the entire dungeon on the fly. Uh, so that is why there's a little bit of an extra pause. Now these guys are supposed to be really, really, really tough. Uh, I thought that I might need to toughen them up a little bit, but I had some guys in here playing and they said that, nope, nope, they're good. Uh, we'll see what Rada does here. All you Rada. Uh, Rada is, uh, for those who don't know, is one of our our uh, longtime players who teaches a lot of stuff, super educational, uh, also really high skill level. Uh, not just player level, but actual skill level, and knows what he's doing, doesn't do dumb stuff. I can do dumb stuff, I've got god mode on. <laughs> yes, I know, insert the play like a real player stuff there, but I, I can't play like a real player while I'm streaming. Uh, I'm not as good as you guys are on the stream, I need my brain to think on stuff. Alright, I'm going to get back to questions here. Let's see. Uh, the Rafi, question, are you guys aware that shops marked on some city maps don't lead you to that shop? Example, area, you go to the weapons merchant marked on the map, but when you come there, a uh, weaponsmith called Henry Steele. If you go to Henry Steele marked on the map, come to some weapons. Uh, that's uh, not shocking at all. Our, our map system is one of the things we'll be giving a major overhaul to, uh, giving major love to in uh, episode two. Uh, along with, of course, I think everybody knows that our quest system is going to get a massive ground up rebuild uh, for episode two, uh, just to make sure it's not uh, buggy in the way that it is right now. And that it was not, uh, it being buggy was not the fault of the person who implemented it. It was more a matter of changing requirements. Is he actually killing one of these things? doing a lot of running. Oh, he's moved their health. Uh, but yeah, these are like, each one of these guys is as tough as like a boss lich uh, in other scenes. Uh, but yes, uh, but yeah, the maps don't, they aren't dynamically, they aren't properly updating. There's a lot of legacy stuff in there. Uh, so yes, it does not surprise me that there's a few of those out there. Bigger problem is scenes that do not have maps and need them. Let's see. Group loot lowered zero. Got that. Uh, oh, Mojito running asleep. Uh, yeah, that's in the last stream. He was having a dream uh, where he does his little puppy dream, and you can see him. He was doing like a little twitchy stuff, but he was also he was going. Rrr, 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 rrr. Uh, I usually will reach down and wake him up when he's having one of those dreams because it sounds like he's having a bad dream. Hey, Liz Rostov is here. Uh, yes, T Branch. Those those are the tier six ones, and again, those are the ones uh, I'm going to spice them up a little bit, but I'm not going to make them any tougher hit point level damage wise. Uh, when we were down here last time, you know, I saw him hitting for 500, 600 points of damage sometimes. Rada might be able to take one of these guys, but it will be, oh, it'll be work. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I need to go check to see if there were any more crown sale stuff. For those who are just joining in late, that's, I was doing a stream special, which is if you buy, if you're in the United States, I'm so sorry, Europe. Uh, and Australia and Canada and uh, all the other places where people play. Uh, but if you're in the United States and you buy an $85 crown package, uh, I will send you some junk from the table behind me. Uh, coins and uh, some onks and some stickers and some random crap that's floating around. If you buy two $85 packages, crown packages, 
uh, I will send you a t-shirt and some random crap. I'm um, getting low on t-shirts, but I can dig some more out. I think I've got about 100 t-shirts or 50 t-shirts left total. Uh, but I may need to dig out some more extra larges because I think I've gone through a couple of those already. But I'm going to take this break uh, to go check to see if I need to ship any stuff here. Let me go see. So that was before. That's what, Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay. Hold on. Refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. Waiting for it, waiting for it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got a few here. Uh, so let's see. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out a few of these guys. I may have to email some people here. Okay, I got that one. I got that one. Uh, I got to get... Uh, I have to figure out... Uh, it looks like I've got two more to ship. One more to ship. Two more to ship. Uh oh I think we went to another page, so hold on. Uh... Yep, I know. Awesome streaming, right? You guys can watch... Uh, here, I'll do uh, go free free body here, and you guys can watch uh, Rada entertain you. Rada, entertain them. Slew. Cheap camera mode. Show us what you got, Rada. out a little bit. There you go. Now don't die. Uh, yes, I just had somebody... I uh, just had somebody uh, ask about physical copies. Uh, I have... Uh, I have actually started uh, uh, shipping physical copies. I shipped some after the stream last time uh, because they're really tedious and involved in order to like package them up and get all the stuff. I showed earlier that but there's like a whole spreadsheet of like here's all the different sets and there's like 13 different sets uh, that have to be pieced together based on what type of thing you got. I I do not uh, uh, do not want to uh, meet up with the person who planned all that stuff because I would punch him. And then buy him a beer. Let me see. Uh, but yes, you can pay with whatever you want to. Uh, to buy the $85 package now. Uh, I get everything for it. Looks like I just got another one. Let me do one here for... Ah, uh, we got someone from Oklahoma. Let me do this one real quick. This looks like a single. I'll package that up. So I will be taking a short break from the camera. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Rada. I just gave you a thousand strength buff. Show us what you got, tough guy. Oh, wait, you're using like two stabs. Oh, no, you're using two spears. I thought you were using like two wands and were a caster. I hadn't been paying attention to how you were fighting. All right, Oklahoma, let me package up your thing. Hey bud, stay right there. Da na da 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 Let's see, I'm gonna give you a few stickers here. Give you a couple coins, give you one of these guys. Uh let's see, what else can I throw in there? Thank you. I got another one of these guys. I'll throw that guy in there. This is all for you, Mr. Oklahoma. Wait. Perfect. Perfect. 
printing the label. It's coming at you, Oklahoma. Bam. All right, it looks like I got a couple more people here to deal with. Uh, but yes, yeah, so for the person contacting me, I will be shipping more. Uh, there's still some things I technically need, but I'm trying to ship the ones I don't need anything extra for. Uh, the thing I need right now is next time uh, Richard is in town, I'm going to be having him sign some stuff, some physical stuff. Uh, some deeds is the big thing. Uh, but I'm probably going to ship some of those to people I know won't care uh, with uh, the sign sticker stuff. So. And let's see. Who did I do already? Oh, hold on. I got to check some names. Got it, got it, got it. We got four things there. Oh, oh, it looks like I just got a. Is that another one? No, he's only buying a little package. All right, I got to see there's one there. Hold on, I gotta email somebody real quick. Do, do. Oh, and uh, for streams coming up next week, I'd actually plan on doing this a little bit of today. Uh, but uh, my Unity decided to poop out on me, and I'm having to re import everything. Uh, but I'm gonna do some uh, Unity development stuff uh, on, on the live stream. Uh, so you guys will get to watch me do some uh, some work in case you're wondering what I actually do. But that'll be next week. Uh, I'll probably do some stream this weekend, but it'll be more just like hanging out and chatting. And emailing somebody. It looks like I owe a t-shirt too. Oh, is that another one? Hey, there's one. All right, let me get this one going. Yeah. Watching me ship stuff. Quality entertainment. And there's another one. Let me email him. Oh, you guys are just getting in under the wire here. I was going to end my uh, stream. I'll have to keep going a little bit longer uh, so I can get these guys shipped out. Uh, and also the other reason I'm keeping it going a little bit longer is I think we're really close to the number of hours we need to be uh, get the partner badge or whatever. So I was trying to get the part get to that so we can possibly get partner before the uh, afternoon stream. Emailing. Emailing. There's another one gone out the door. Oh, it looks like our uh, update went out. I totally missed that. That went out in the last hour. Again, uh, that was for whoever it was earlier that was asking about his start or whatever still doing stuff. Uh, that was Star doing the update uh, while I was streaming. Thank you very much, Star. Uh, he will be also be on in uh, two hours from now. Hour and 59 minutes. I didn't notice. Did Rada get any of them? Looks like there's one left. There's... Oh, there's a corpse. He got one. Oh, he's fighting the other one. And he got it. Good job, Rada. See, all you need is that thousand strength buff. I'll make a potion that does that for you. 1700, what? Uh, 
Yeah, let me get it back on there. One second, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, I think. Oh, I got a request for an XXL t-shirt. I'll have to see if I can find one. I think there's one or more left. Oh, and I'm losing track of who I've mailed. Let me dig for an XXL t-shirt real quick. Again, quality, quality programming time here. Uh, definitely selling you guys on the game. Uh, for those who are not playing the game, who are uh, new to Shroud, uh, I am Chris Spears. I know there's probably not many of you guys on there, but maybe a few. Uh, my name is Chris Spears. I'm the tech director on the project is my official title, but uh, I do lots and lots and lots of stuff, just like everybody else on the project. Excel, Excel, Excel. XL. Looking, I'm looking for a 2XL. This is now more like reality TV than uh, actually a dev stream. XL. XL. Come on, there's got to be one 2XL left in here. Getting close. Nope. All right, so I got some XLs. I'm going to leave one of those out just in case I can't find a 2XL. one up. Let's see, and I'm going to throw in uh, some extra coins for you so you have a few to give your buddies. That's what I like seeing. Just under 16. One second. Now hold on. Now I got to figure out where how that ties in. There you are. West Virginia. Coming at you, West Virginia. And print. And print. And print. Done. Let's see. Uh, 
just had. So it sounds like uh, a couple of the guys I know, uh, Taiki, Vespers, and Marge are now running their own streams. Awesome guys. Uh, starting a regular group on soon. Uh, yeah, and I can definitely help you guys out with some uh, streaming stuff. Let me make sure I'm caught up on all the stuff I'm supposed to ship. Let's see. Got one. Did that one. I don't think I've done this one. Let me make sure. There's one guy here. Arizona. Did I do an Arizona? Michigan, Texas, West Virginia, North Carolina, and Oklahoma. I have not done this one. Let me do one more, guys, and then I'll be back over here to answer some questions. Again, if people are willing to pay to see streams of uh, people eating food, uh, then this should definitely be like high entertainment right here, watching me pack stuff. Let's see, for you, I'm going to give you one of those guys, I'll give you a couple of those guys, I'll give you a couple of coins, one of those things. And uh, also I'll throw in, let's see if I can find one here. History. There's my foot. There's the foot that has a big scar on top of it, although you can't see it on the camera, fortunately. Uh, there is a network cable, an actual network cable. And I got that. Let me zip zap zoop. Coming at you, Arizona. Okay, I think I'm caught up. I'll have to go check afterwards and uh, verify. All right, let me get caught up on questions now. Uh, let's see. I was like, who are they attacking? Oh, they're attacking me. I'm in slew mode here, though. And uh oh, looks like uh, Rada died once. Sorry, Rada. Uh, let me get back to my reading the questions here. Uh, going a little bit longer is how the 24 hour streams got started. Yeah, for a history lesson for those people who didn't know. Uh, thanks, Sean Butts. Uh, but uh, when we started, like our, we would originally do a 24, we did a 24 hour stream, and then at some point we dropped them to 12 hour streams. Uh, we pretty much ran the Kickstarter as a 720 hour stream where we would just constantly have people going over there. Oh, I'm doing horrible here. Uh, uh, Liz Rostov did something. Subbed. Thank you, Liz. Liz is a dev for those who don't know. John Lickman, follow. Uh, Ian Spence, follow. Uh, Grockling, 500 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Grockling. Calendorn, 513. Follow. Thank you, thank you. Thunder Fiddo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody go get your friends. Tell them, come over here, subscribe. Uh, again, uh, this is not the real Soda Stream. This is, I'm uh, just one dev. We do have a later uh, day. Thank you, Artemis, for cheering with the zombie. Uh, we have one later in about two hours that is the real, the official stream, uh, Friday stream. Uh, that uh, will have me and Star and I don't know who else. Maybe B, Beezus. Uh, I forget who's going to be on there. It's going to be we're going to be talking about the bunny and some other stuff. So uh, maybe I can find some of these questions here and use them on that one. But uh, or maybe I'll just be doing the part, playing the part of uh, grabbing questions for Star to answer. Uh, 
Let's see, hold on. About a one and a two. Oh, uh, let's see. Did I miss one there? Hold on, I gotta go check to see. Do 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 do. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh, and I my, since my allergies are going, you know what that means, guys. I know you're excited about this. That means I can start singing again. Getting close. Let's see. Uh, I think I took care of that person. Let me see. Am I on 12? Oh, there's a whole nother page. Oh. Okay, well, I got page one taken care of, I think. Waiting on the database, waiting on the database, waiting on the database. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a whole page of people here. Uh, I'm going to have to mail you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say the stream kind of really sort of ends now because I'm going to be spending the rest of the stream shipping to these guys. Uh, I know you guys have lots of questions still to ask me. Uh, and oh, and thank you, Artemis, for the sub. Uh, uh, I know you guys have lots of questions to ask me, uh, but I will be on in two hours. The questions will have to wait until then. Uh, and you can get an answer, and maybe Star will answer as well. Uh, but I'm going to need to take a break from actually talking because uh, sinuses and stopped up and uh, throat's getting sore. Let's see. So I'm going to be doing this stuff, but... Uh, since I'm kind of, sort of, signing off right now, let me say thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, uh, for your support, for watching the stream, for all the financial support, for the questions, and uh, everything. And, oh, look at the cute little mojito down here. Oh, sweet buddy. There he is. Uh, and all the compliments on my dog. I'm very proud of my dog. Uh, and uh, again, I'll see you on screen in two hours, but I'm going to go ahead and end it so I can start emailing some people. Uh, and uh, for those people who are like, hey, didn't you, didn't I get a thing? Uh, yes, I was on page, one page of my search, but it extended into the next page. Uh, so I'm cutting off my specials here. If you got it in now, or like in the next minute or two, uh, then great. Uh, if not, you can catch me next time. I'll come up with some new specials. Maybe the same specials again. I'm pretty, uh, pretty, uh, not going to spend a lot of time on it. Not creative in terms of coming up with new specials. So, uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for the support and for following. Follow, 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 uh, and uh, any uh, support you can give us, and we will keep making a better game. And we got one week to a release, uh, so you got lots of stuff to look forward to. There'll be more uh, dungeon rooms. There'll be more stuff. Uh, dungeon counter rooms. There'll be a slight change to how those work as well. Uh, but uh, again, thank you guys so much for the time, and I'm going to figure out someone to raid, so if you haven't figured that part out yet, you can go ahead and go over and uh, start trying to uh, look around for, or uh, start up your stream so I can come raid you. Uh, it looks like we got a number of people. Uh, let's see. So I've done Sheldon recently. I've done Channel of the Avatar. Oh, he's doing a rerun anyways. Uh, Skeggy. It's between Skeggy and Soda Vespers. We'll do the uh, shield up. Uh, I'll let uh, Skeggy call. Skeggy says he wants a shield. I just made that up. I didn't ask him. And then uh, we'll do Vespers as the Shroud of the Avatar. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it up in the air and then catch it and slap it on the back of my hand. You ready? Here we go. Who's it going to be? Who's going to get the raid? Shield is Skeggy. It's the shield! Sorry, Vespers! Skeggy, we're coming at you here in just a minute. And thank you very much, Lace. Uh, I will be talking to you in just a minute. Let's see. Raid. Skeggy. Media. Media. Go get him, boys. Yeah. And I will be ending my stream here in just a minute and so I can get to the shipping because it looks like I've got about five things more to ship. So thank you, thank you, thank you all for that. And let's go raid.